Dream is an American YouTuber best known for his Minecraft and speedrunning content. He started his streaming career in 2018, gaining popularity in 2019 thanks to his unique videos like his Minecraft Manhunt series. He went from 1 million subscribers at the end of 2019 to 9.4 million in mid-2020. That is an insane amount of growth that only the likes of Mr. Beast and Ninja would see. YouTube named Dream the number one breakout star of the year. So what could go wrong? Well, we don't really know too much about Dream. We only just found out that his name is Clay, and his content alone has kept him relevant over the years, but that was about to change. In mid-December, the Minecraft speedrunner overseer at speedrun.com published a 14-minute video that accused Dream of faking an impressive fifth-place speedrun. The video was the summary of a two-month-long investigation. The entire brief can be found in document form at 29 pages long. That is a long document. I think that none of you guys want to read that, so you can just watch the video. Let's boil it down for you guys. Basically, a group of volunteers studied the mathematics and computer science behind Dream Speedrun and deemed it fake. That's a big accusation, especially for a YouTuber so huge as Dream. How did these speedrunning experts come to this conclusion, you might ask? Well, they essentially felt Dream was too lucky. In a compilation of six live streams, it seemed that Dream was able to get his hands on rare items very easily. Hmm, seems a little bit fishy, right? Despite there being just a 5% chance of receiving one item, Dream seemed to get it every single time he needed it. He did 42 out of 262 times to be exact, making him luckier than every other Minecraft speedrunner on the planet. And this is where it gets crazy, guys. According to the speedrun analysts, there is only a 1 in 177 billion chance of getting as many successful trades as Dream did. That is like winning the lottery every single year that you are alive. This led the researchers to write in the paper that Dream Streams should be analyzed just for the sake of it because of the mind-blowing luck that he had. It was just something other speedrunners would have to see to believe. Dream immediately denied the accusations, of course, but said he needed time to form a proper response. He said on Twitter that it was, quote, sad to see people jumping on the hate wagon before hearing his side of the drama. As the investigation continued, Dream called the entire situation clickbait, he basically felt the speedrunning community was using his popularity to get views. Dream later said that the expectations were based on a personal grudge against him. The Minecraft streamer explained that it made no sense for the team to waste this much time on a fifth place speedrun attempt. The community, well, what did they have to say? They remained skeptical of both parties. One Minecraft player even tried to simulate thousands of runs, and what were the results? Nowhere near the success the Dream had. As fans continued to become wary of Dream, his mods had to warn viewers to stop sending hate to Dream over the research paper. But you didn't think that was the end of it, did you? Of course not. There's actually more. Dream didn't get completely cancelled due to this drama. While the research paper basically concluded that it was impossible for someone to have that luck, today, Dream has 21.6 million subscribers on YouTube and has amassed over 1.5 billion views. But all this popularity does have its downside. Dream has continued to see success on YouTube as well as TikTok and other social media platforms thanks to his connection to other influencers and content creators. But it seems like some feel that Dream's fans have become a little bit too extreme, and they blame Dream for encouraging them. Some fan art recently was made of Dream and Miners, prompting the streaming community to create the Dream Was Wrong hashtag on Twitter. Yes, this is an ugly scene. But Dream defended himself on Twitter, saying that he did not want his fans to ship creators who were uncomfortable with this concept, especially minors. He even said that it was disgusting to draw NSFW content involving minors. Dream encouraged people to report and block anything they see along those lines, which is absolutely the right thing to do. He also didn't take any responsibility for the situation, however. And that's where things get tricky. Dream said that he had a lot of fans. Some are bound to be terrible people, obviously. He told people to stop looking for disgusting stuff and focus on the positives of the other millions of fans instead. Once again, the response of Dream's reaction is mixed. Most people seem to agree that it's not Dream's fault that some fans are out of line, but others feel content creators of his size have a responsibility for the influence that they have. And that is so, so true, guys. 
Any person with that reach, that platform has a responsibility to at the very least not condone bad behavior. They must speak up and identify what is wrong and say, look, you guys shouldn't be doing this because guess what? People like Dream have followers, followers that listen to them. Words matter. And if he was just to say, this is unacceptable, you're a fan, but you're doing this, you are not part of my community. And if he took that line, to be honest, there wouldn't be any controversy anymore. Yes, he's not responsible for what his fans create, but he's 100% responsible for how he reacts to that and how he sets the tone. But I want to know from you guys, what's up with Dream? Do you guys think that this could ruin his career? Do you think this is going to cancel him? Do you guys think that he's in the right? Do you guys think he's in the wrong? I mean, he does make hilarious Minecraft videos. Obviously, he's super big in the gaming world and we like his content. But do you think that he should have taken a different route here? I think he definitely should have. Anyway, guys, that's our video on Dream. We post a ton of content around esports news on this channel, as well as some of our other channels. If you guys are interested in this type of video, please hit that like and sub button. It really helps us out. And as always, if you guys are interested in getting better at esports or any game that you like, come learn from the pros on ProGuides.com. We got courses with the best pro players in any game you like, and we got coaching with the best. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much. It's been Kristoff with you once again, and I'll see you in the next video.